paint a flower pot. So when I'm on this um cleaning something, I just saw that pot and I'm like, I wanna paint that pot. <laughs> Mom, I wanna paint that pot. And after filming one video, my idea is overflowing. <laughs> and I decided that I'm going to paint paint some floral. I'm gonna do a floral theme. Um, some vines. Oh my idea is overflowing. So let's get started. So first off, I'm going to sketch my idea in the pot and now I'm just going to draw rose flower. That's how I draw rose flower. If you can see the pencil lines. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just going to draw some leaves and some vines. Um, the pencil is not so clear. Since the camera is a little bit, um, the camera is not so good. <laughs> now I'm gonna pick, draw a rose, a oh, yellow bell. Is that how's it called, Ma? Yellow bell, right? Okay, yellow bell. And now I am going to draw more vines, since I wanted to be like you know, uh, I wanted to be like vines covering the pot or something <laughs> now i'm gonna draw some daisies and the daisies leaves and now draw some more vines because i love it and after that i am going to draw one more lonely daisy near the other flowers and yeah now i'm going to paint it so i'm gonna use white i don't know what flower am i paint i what kind of flower i draw i just draw that flower but let's just say it's just those white small flowers you saw in some bushes <laughs> it looks like one uh this time uh i use acrylic for most of it, but I use ceramic for some part. Look, I know ceramic is a paint for glass, but it works pretty fine on the pot, so it's not a big deal. Now I'm wiping my brush so it wouldn't mix the other colors. And now I'm getting my red ceramic and calling the rose flower. Um, I know the rose flower is a little bit weird but if you watch my last video i will outline it don't worry so i'm um, now right now i am coloring it and just trying to get into that um curve over there next to the flower i don't know what word to use i like the red it's really nice the color red is nice now i'm putting the second coat since the first coat is not so strong it's not strong enough to cover the pot the color the paint pot color um i don't know that's a really weird sentence and the second coat is all right i didn't put the third coat because the second coat is fine by me I'm putting a yellow dot. It's like a daisy, but no. Oh, it's it's coming together. It's coming together. Now I'm gonna wipe my brush and then paint the yellow bell. Um, I actually I made a really big mistake of using the yellow ceramic paint on my pot. <laughs> As you can see a second ago there's yellow some yellow just came out of just there's some yellow drip on the white flower anyways um, I made a big mistake of using um, yellow ceramic paint because it's so weak and uh, I just used some yellow acrylic paint to try to like um, help the yellow became like stronger the paint the, the color stronger now i am color i am painting the vines 
and yes I use green ceramic I mean it's fine by me <laughs> um, so please don't um, kill me or anything for using ceramic on po a pot so now I'm gonna color the leaves and then more vines like when I was painting the vines my mom was in the back of me she was like I don't know how to measure it and I'm like oh I didn't measure it I just sketch it I didn't use a ruler or anything, I just like go with the flow. Now I'm just gonna. Now I'm still painting the vines and the leaves. Some leaves look weird, but I don't mind because leaves have different kind of shapes, right? Yeah. Um, you might be asking why there's no other shade of green. Um, I don't want to use it. Uh. Actually, my uh, my other acrylic paints, um, the dark green, my other shades of green, you know, I ran out of paint now, and I cannot go anywhere since it's COVID, and it's dangerous right now, and my dad is going to kill me. So I have no choice but to use ceramic for some part. That's the only way. <laughs> I have no choice but to use it though. Now I am going to paint the daisies. Um, as you can see the daisy over there um, near the vines. Uh, my mom told me that the daisy is ugly. I'm like, that's okay. It's not that bad. Don't judge it. You'll get karma soon. Uh, I know it's a living thing, but I just say it for fun or joke. <laughs> yeah. So I'm still in the first daisy and i just put only one coat for this one maybe because i put too much paint on my brush that's why the paint is strong maybe it's like that now i'm painting the second daisy okay uh, a little um misposition there and i'm going to paint it uh, I noticed that one petal is very long from the rest of it, but I just pretend that I didn't see it. <laughs> now I'm going to paint another daisy. Actually, I'm only gonna paint only two daisies, but my mom told me to paint one more. So I just agree with her. Now I'm gonna put these yellow dots. Uh, I used the the back tip of my brush and now i'm painting uh the daisies leaves my mom told me that daisies have different uh they have their own leaves i didn't know that <laughs> uh, i'm gonna paint the leaves it's not the part of my sketch but i i just do it now i'm painting the vines again I just wanted to make it like um I w for my idea um it's not really what I expected because for my idea the vines are like um there's a lot of vines and everything but since I'm like um tired I just I, I I'm too lazy to call to draw more vines I I'm too lazy to do that so I just stick with my sketch and don't um draw anything much paint anything much i mean paint anything much now i'm painting the daisies Conti i continue painting the daisies leaves and more vines <laughs> and that time my mom was um she was keep on looking at me and she just like um take a rest for some part and my mom's phone almost died while filming this video, but it's okay. It, it's okay. <laughs> now I'm painting the leaves again. And more vines! One more vine. I think this is the last vine. Yeah, it's the last vine. Uh, I actually want to make do more vines, but since it's taking too much space, and I'm lazy at the same time. No. Now, my m at first, I'm not gonna paint some more flowers there. But my mom told me to paint tiny rose flowers. So I'm like, okay, I don't mind painting it. 
because I like the rose flowers anyways. Now I'm gonna outline it. I know that this doesn't look like um, a yellow bell, but I, I still appreciate it. <laughs> now I am outlining the leaves. I just wanted to make it cartoony. I don't want to make it like too realistic or anything. Just wanted to make it like in a cartoon style. Um, and this daisy, yes, this daisy is fixed. Uh, I told my mom that this daisy is like the ugly duckling. You know that? You know that, mom? <laughs> yeah. So now I am outlining the vines, and I like it. It's coming together and. It's, I like it. Uh, I really like how uh, thick the line is. No, I'm not gonna make it into thin lines. I just wanted to make it thick so you can see it properly. Uh, I know some of you would rather make the lines thin, but uh, I feel like thick is more nice. Uh, it's my idea. <laughs> it's my style. Uh, now I'm going to draw the petals of the two the other two daisies and yeah oh uh, this is very time consuming so this is the final result uh so there is a uh, <laughs> I just draw this flower. It kind of looks like a daisy, but it's not. A uh, rose flower. A, a yellow bell thing. Bell yellow. <laughs> Even though it doesn't look like it, but I'm sure I draw that. And there's some vines and a lonely daisy. <laughs> some vines. And three more daisies. And more vines and two baby rose flowers. <laughs> yeah, and I like it. Um, it's not so colorful. It's just simple, you know. I just make it floral theme. <laughs> so hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Bye.